So this is a wooden board that has been painted with uh, black enamel paint. And then on top of that, it receives some chalk powder. And this is used to practice the sketching, to practice the drawing. Quite amazing. Bamboo. Okay, it used to be yak cheese or yak butter, you said? Yes, yes. yak butter more, more likely, yeah. Okay, it's amazing, it can work. So first you need, we need to clean this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So we grease the whole surface. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that means the chalk powder will then adhere. Then will stick here. <laughs> and this is how the students practice. Yeah. yeah. For how long do they do this? How many years? For four years. For four years you practice in this board? Yes. In the morning and in the af afternoon they paint. So there's like specific uh, how you say, drawings which you need to finish. And if you can finish in one year, you can paint like um, tanka from the morning. Well, but if you don't finish it, Just a little bit more. So one must feel that the whole surface is greasy. Yeah. yeah. It would be nice if it's more even, you know. Mm -hmm. Do these boards have a name? Jiang Xing. Jiang Xing. Jiang Xing. Jiang Xing. Yeah. This is incredible. And it's probably a very, very old tradition, right? Yes. This was, I think, uh, what I think is like in those times there was not so many papers, yeah? Yes. So this was the best thing because every time you need to use new paper. So maybe at that time there was not so many paper. So this is like endless use. You can use it like as much as you want. And this is chalk powder, yeah? Mm -hmm. And also it forces you to draw without resting your hand on the surface yes. of the board. And this is the best practice for tanka. Because if you put too much pressure on the canvas, it will like um, make different shape. That's right. You need to be very, very careful. It's okay. You gotta make a pencil. This is amazing. It's really like a throwback in time. Mm -hmm.
And we want the points to be thin. Yeah. So uh, if you look closely, then it, this this bamboo will work as a mechanical pencil, yeah? Yes. So there's like uh, many fibers, you see. There's like many, many fibers, yeah? So yes. You have to choose just one. So it oh. will work like you just sharpen one and it will work like mechanical pencil. Wow. And it's the hardest part of bamboo, yeah? So it's like the center. Yeah. So you cut it here and choose one and then just keep on sharpening on one thing. And when I was studying in school, we used to cheat, you know, because <laughs> this thing keeps on breaking. Yes. And what I did was like, I poke a small hole, drill a hole and put a needle on it, you know, <laughs> so it looks like pencil, but it's a like, needle tip. So one single fiber. Mm -hmm. This is also part of the training for the love for precision, isn't it? Yeah. That tank has have Everything should be very precise. More harder. Caramelized bamboo? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I call it. Is that an incense stick? Yeah. Because <laughs> when I was studying, I, I, I'm a little bit interested in science as well. Yes. So I found like um, bamboo is uh, bamboo has a sugar on it. Uh -huh. So when you heat it, not burn it, but just caramelize, bake it. it, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> and that makes it harder. Yeah. Yes, it became brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it became hard. Wow. So if it becomes too dark brown, then it becomes more brittle. It will become very, very fragile. It becomes like charcoal, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So brown is perfect. It's yeah. caramel. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. So we use the ruler to protect the surface from the powder. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Drawing with caramel bamboo. It's beautiful. The feeling that I get is that it's much more precise than a pencil on paper. texture of the wood you're right mm -hmm. so the smoother the wood the better yeah. and this will help you control your pencil as well not to go too hard you know yes if you go too hard your pencil will be broken just just be really really soft and then that needs more caramel 